hello guys welcome back to another android studio tutorial in this episode we are going to learn about how to use the inbuilt camera app in your android application so create a new project in android studio go to the xml file now here it is a relative layout first we need to change that one into linear layout I change that one into linear layout now we have to specify some orientation for the layout so Android orientation into vertical remove this text view okay to start the camera app we need a button so add a button here now specify the layout for the button Android First specify the width I specify the width as 200 dp now we need to specify the layout height so Android uh, layout height into wrap content now specify some text for the button Android text capture image now specify an ID for the button so Android ID equal to plus ID I name it as button ok now I need to align this button at the center of the layout so Android layout gravity into center horizontal this will align the button at the center ok now we need an image view to display the image captured from the camera app so add an image view here specify the layout for the image view and uh, layout width into I specify the width that's 300 dp now specify some height Android layout height into 300 dp yeah change the width into 350 okay now specify an ID for the image view Android ID plus ID I name it as image view now align this one at the center so Android layout gravity into center horizontal ok now specify some margin at the top so android layout margin top into 20 dp ok now it's fine now close this image view now we have an, a button and image view on the activity main.xml file now go to the main activity.java so the action bar activity change that one into simply activity because action bar activity is now deprecated remove this options menu there is no need of an options menu for this application ok first we need variables for button and image view so first I create variable for button I name it as button now create some variable for image view I name it as image view ok now we have to initialize these two variables first initialize the button variable first type cast this one into button find the view by id r dot id dot identifier name is button ok now image view first type cast this one into image view find view by id or dot id dot identifier name is image view ok so now we need some click listener for the button so button dot set on click listener Okay. 
So before start the camera app, we need to set some permissions on the Android manifest.xml file. We need two permissions. First of all, is the first permission is for using the camera, and the second permission is for write the image file into the external storage. So open the manifest folder and open the Android manifest.xml. First here I am going to add permission for use the camera. So use feature android name equal to android dot hardware dot camera and close this one yeah camera is now deprecated so we how to use camera 2 i think it is camera 2 yeah this one okay now we need to set the permission for use the external storage so use permission user's permission the name is write external storage first one okay <coughs> now we set the permissions okay now go back to the main activity dot java so first we need to create some folder on the external storage for that here I am going to create a method uh, it's a private method and it will return a file object and the method name is get file okay uh, we have to return a file from this method we return simply return null now okay now we need to create a folder inside the external storage for that here I simply create a file I name it as folder equal to new file I need to create this folder inside SD card and I need a folder name called camera app ok so first we have to check whether the folder is already available or not if it is not available we have to create the folder so start an if loop if not folder exist in that case we need to create the folder so folder dot make directory okay now we have to set up some file inside the folder to save the image so create another file I name it as image file equal to new file first you have to specify the folder name here the folder name is folder that means the direct the root folder now you have to specify the file name and I name it as cam image dot jpg that is the file name and finally we return the image file okay so whenever user click the button we have to start the camera application for that we need to create an indent object so start an indent object here I name it as camera indent equal to new indent and here you need to specify some action I specify it as media store dot action image capture ok so now we have to pass the file location for the image into the intent object so first we have to get the file location file path from this method called the get file for that I create a simple file object here and call that method get file now we need to pass this file into the indent object so camera indent dot uh, call the put extra method first you have to specify a key and here I'm going to use the key called media store dot extra output 
and now you have to specify the file okay no this is not correct yeah here you need to pass the file in the form of a URI so URI dot from file and specify the file file path file name here okay now we have to call the start activity for a result so call the start activity for a result so before call that method we need some request code so here we have to declare some variable static final int cam request equal to 1 ok so in this method first you have to pass the indent object here the indent object is camera indent next you have to pass the request code ok so here we use the start activity for result so we have to override the on activity result method so here I'm going to override the on activity result method on activity result this one okay so if you call the start activity method that will invoke the target activity and after finishing the target activity the system will call the on activity result method within the main activity okay so from this method we have to get the image from the directory and put the image into the image view so here first we have to get the file path string path equal to the image is available in SD card and there is a folder called the camera app so specify the folder name folder name is camera app and the file name is cam image dot jpg this is the file name okay and finally we have to set the image on the image view so image view dot set drawable set image drawable and use this method drawable dot create from path and specify the path here the path is available on the string variable called path ok now we finish the coding now we can test the application ok now here we have the application available on a device now here I am going to start the camera application available on this device so click the button capture image this will open up the camera application available on this device now I am going to capture some image so click the capture button this will capture the image now go back to the yeah here you need to click OK button now it will go back to the main activity again and here is the image available on the image view ok now we can check the file whether the folder is created or not go to the file application here is the file application open that open that folder we create a folder inside the device external storage so go to the device storage and our folder name is camera app here is the folder and inside that folder here is the image I hope you understand the concepts thank you for watching see you in the next episode